What's going on today, YouTube? Jason with X Bacon Gaming, bringing you my thoughts and impressions on KB Lake. Uh, as previously on Sky Lake i7 6700K, and like everybody else, I was intrigued. Um, I'm gonna start by saying if you are on 6700K, don't waste your money. It's not. It's not gonna blow your your mind. Um, I, I've had it for about two weeks now. Um, I didn't want to do a rush review. I uh, didn't get a review sample earlier or anything like that. Uh, bought it all with my own ho cold, hard-earned cash. And so I wanted to give it a couple weeks. I uh, didn't want to rush out a review of any kind. Um, and so here it is. So on my 6700K build, I had the Hero 8, uh, one of my favorite motherboards of all time. Uh, this thing is almost identical, uh, pretty much is identical to that. Um, hindsight being 2020, I might have switched to a different manufacturer just to see something new. Uh, but the performance of the Maximus line, uh, I, I find is incredibly amazing uh so i went ahead and stuck with with this but the, the hero 9 um it it is one of the easiest motherboards i've worked with and i am not an overclocker by any stretch of the imagination uh i'm just getting uh fairly competent in it let's just put it that way um and just like the previous generation incredibly easy to overclock um the board itself with all of the features i used the clone drive already awesome um, there's just stuff that, that comes with an ROG, uh, that it really does pay off to have this stuff. And I understand it's an expensive motherboard, 229 at Micro Center. <clears throat> so I understand not stepping up something like this, but, uh, I like having all the features, um, that come with an ROG board. So the build process of course was super easy. Uh, I had no issues at all. Uh, fired up first time, no issues. I didn't have to flash the BIOS, nothing, nothing wild like that. It did perfectly what it was supposed to. Um, I initially went in and just tried the uh, AI suite for the overclock. Uh, I did get it up to 4.9, but it was like something like 1.4 volts. Like I felt that was a, a hair high. Um, it was stable, was it wasn't having any issues. Uh, so then I went back in and manually set it. Uh, I got 4.8 without even trying. Um, ran, uh, what was it, Prime? Prime 95 for what was it, two and a half, three hours. And my max temp I re received uh, through that was uh, 82 degrees Celsius. Uh, generally in game, uh, I'm sitting at between uh, under load 55C and 62, 63 uh, C. And that's with running the H115i Extreme Cooler from Corsair. Does a really good job of keeping things cool. Uh, no issues there. Uh, so overclocking wise, super duper easy. I know the uh, MSI board has the little dial that you can do your overclocking really easy uh they've come a long way on these things with with making overclocking easier for the layman uh which again i do not consider myself an overclocker i i still watch tutorials on youtube on how to overclock uh, just because i'm afraid i'm gonna pop something in there but um as far as doing that with this board and this chip super duper easy Now, a couple of things I really love about this board in particular is the Aura Sync, which syncs all your RGB lighting. Uh, I have the N1509, and it has all it has is the front logo, uh, but that does plug right into the one of the two supplied US uh, RGB headers on the board. Uh, you can't tell everything is technically the same color. So uh, the two RGB headers are awesome. Um, I got two cable mod strips in there. I need to get a couple more. 
but everything from the board and 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 the and the, mo and the light strips they all sync together and all do the same uh previously i was using the nzxt hue had nothing but problems with my nzxt hue uh, i took it out of my board and gave it to a buddy uh, it was just issue after issue after issue i don't know if i got a bad unit what was going on but um it is so much easier and as long as you buy the cable mod uh strips that are rsync compatible then they even give you a header that splits one of the cables and rotates it so it all works perfectly fine um, i cannot be happier with the implementation of rgb headers on motherboards that is now one thing i find really cool about an asus product <laughs> is the ability to add 3D printed bling uh, to your board. Look at there, I have a nameplate. Um, I'll do a zoom up, zoom in on it. But, but I ordered that from a place called Shapeways. It was, I think, 10 total dollars with shipping. Um, you can customize and do whatever you want with it. There are a bunch of places where you can add a little bit of bling and add a little bit of uh, accent color because I'm trying to get a little more white in the build, so I did the white nameplate. Uh, went with the white Corsair ML fans, which are awesome, by the way. Um, so it's just a, it's not important by any means, but it is just something nice that that you get with with Asus. Um, haven't seen any other products that have it. I could be completely wrong, uh, but Asus does allow you to add 3D printed items. Okay, guys. So I went ahead and ran uh, a couple of the standard tests. I just want to tell you that on top of the 7700K, I am running a GTX 1080 EVGA hybrid, 16 gigs of Corsair Dominator, 3000 speed, an Intel 500 gig SSD. So my Cinebench score here came out to, I believe, 1015. You see that here in a second. So pretty respectable score to say the least. Uh, I have absolutely zero problems um, recommending the board. Of course, I don't really have to make a recommendation on a CPU uh, unless you're looking at price, which Intel by itself is pretty darn expensive. So I went ahead and also ran through CPU Mark. Um, got a what was my score? Thirteen. Now oh, you'll see here in a minute. Um, I scored in the 99th percentile. I've never been in the 99th percentile in anything in my life. So uh, I feel pretty darn good about this. Uh, so in closing, guys, I'd like, first of all, I'd like to take time to thank you, to, take time to thank you for watching. Uh, I know there's a lot of stuff out there and there's a lot of people that are better than I am at this. Uh, so the with you taking the time to watch it, I really, really do appreciate it. Uh, we're really trying to get this channel going and, and, and get it off the ground. I'll take the time to thank all my subscribers. I think we're up to 176 as of shooting this video. I wanted to really thank you guys for taking an interest in the channel and what we are doing. Uh, again, we're still trying to refine our style and we're pretty new, but thank you. Um, so my score on CPU Mark, uh, just on the CPU, that's all four cores, eight threads. 13709, I believe, is pretty darn good. Uh, my overall performance, I actually redid it with turning off uh, G Sync and it improved my uh, 3D graphics and my 2D graphics score. But, you guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up if you don't. All right. Uh, like, subscribe, tons more content coming. Thank you.